All right, well, here we are. It is Wednesday morning. It's May 25th, 2022. And uh, unfortunately, we got to start uh, another show. Here we go again. This time, a um, little small town in Texas, in elementary school. And um, you, you guys know the story by now. 18-year-old loser. Should have just killed himself and been done with it. Uh, instead, decided to selfishly take out whatever he had going on with him on 19 little kids and two adults. So here we are. It's another morning where we're talking about the same old stuff. Uh, the first thing everyone's trying to figure out, all the articles that I'm reading this morning, I figured I'd wake up and you know catch up and see what's going on. I mean, the, uh, the number's higher, 19, two adults. Yesterday was you know about the, the one teacher, and I forget, who cares? I, I forget what the what the number was yesterday. It's not important. Now it's 19 and two adults. But uh, every article I'm reading, every single article, and everybody just wanted to find out why. Like, why? What was the motive? I was to figure that it's the same thing every time. Why? Who cares what this jackass's motive was? I, I don't understand why anyone cares why some psycho does what he does. Why? the guy went into the Buffalo supermarket. Why this guy goes into the church in Orange County, California? Why, uh, you know, there was some guy just shot some dude randomly on his way to go meet his family for brunch in New York City. Why? Who fucking cares? All it is is an opportunity for them to cry a little bit more about what, you know, whatever it is they're mad about. Fuck them. Who fucking cares? So tired. Was he trying to make a point? Who cares? Doesn't bring anybody back. Certainly doesn't stop anything. What are we just supposed to all bend over and be even more sensitive to everybody's hurt feelings and whatever else? I don't I don't know. The real questions are all about how. I saw a really interesting article about, you know, the difference between the why and the how. That's the real questions. How? How? Does this happen? We have all these things in place. Um, You could argue about gun laws and everything else. We'll get to that in a second. How do you keep this from happening? I don't know about you. I'm just not interested in the why. I mean, the whole thing yesterday after I'm reading all, I'm sick. I'm sad. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. All I keep thinking about are the parents. The nightmare that they're living. And it's, you know, the thing is, I used to roll my eyes. I would hear somebody say, Hug your kids extra close tonight and tell them that you love them. I thought that was like such like a empty, you're just saying it to sound sincere or whatever. But yeah, I know it's, it, this also sounds cliche to people who don't have kids. But now that I'm a dad, I do get it. My kids came home safe from school yesterday. I did it instinctively last night before I went to bed. It was a longer hug than usual. I was hugging my son and all I could think about were the parents. And... You send your kids to school, like it shouldn't be a feeling like you're sending them off to war or like you're married to somebody in the military or a cop or a firefighter. I mean, that's an adult who signed up knowing that they're putting themselves in a situation. They've got a dangerous job, puts their life at risk every time they go out to work. Kids and parents shouldn't feel that way about sending your fourth grader off to school. And yesterday, again, proves nowhere is safe. This is like a tiny little rural town that nobody should ever heard of. But now we do. Rob Elementary School. That name, that could come up 10, 20 years from now. You'll still know the name. Sandy Hook Elementary, Columbine, Saugus High School. We, like We shouldn't hear those names or what, we should be like, where the F is that? We shouldn't hear that and just be immediately reminded of dead kids. I don't know what the answers are. I mean, everyone is sick of thoughts and prayers. It's the, that's another cliche every time something happens. Thoughts and prayers. And then the people who go, well, we need to do more than thoughts and prayers. And I, I agree. But what, what do I do? When that feels like that's all you got, I mean, what else can you do? My thoughts and my quote-unquote prayers, I'm not a religious person, but are with those families. I 
feel for those families. I hurt for those parents. Politicians don't care. These things are nothing more than an opportunity for them to make it about them and whatever their stance is to fire up their base. Pro Second Amendment, anti Second Amendment, you know, laws and restrictions and everything else. I'm for whatever works. I'm willing to try something. But that's 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 where their interest ends. Whatever they can say to fire up their base and get them reelected and the you know, it, they're all like robots up there. Outside of lip service and finger pointing, nothing ever happens. Nothing. This is the same reaction, same conversation from all these other events every single time. This week was supposed to be these kids' last day of school, not the last week of their lives. Pulled away before their time. To the 19 little kids who deserve better, I'm, I'm sorry that we, the adults, failed you. I'm sorry to the, the next batch of kids or people that just go to the grocery store or whatever the case may be. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm preemptively apologizing because we're going to fail you. It might be you. Might be you next time. Might be somebody that you love next time. It's fucked up. Only one person pulled the trigger. But as a society, we are beyond failed. We're beyond fucked. And I'm sorry, I, it's unfair. And if you believe in heaven or you don't believe in heaven, whatever that is, it does feel like it's so far away. And it sucks.